before I start this review, I have to tell y'all something. This is something that is creeping me out, and I just want to first off say thank you for letting me see this movie a lot earlier than it comes out. I think it comes out either September 16th or October 21st. It comes out in a uh, weeks or a month. I don't know when it comes out, but I got to see this movie a lot earlier. Second thing, if you don't know what this movie's about, this movie's about evil clowns or anything. We'll get that to in the actual review. But to talk about what's happening in Greenville, South Carolina. Yes, I live the, here. I live in Greenville, South Carolina. In Greenville, South Carolina, in some sorts of woods, somewhere, there are clowns in the woods. I think if you if you read the news or read anything like CNN, whatever, it has been everywhere. It's national news, whatever, and it's happening here, and I live near it. So everyone in my school it keeps joking about the clowns, the clowns in the woods. And so now I get to go see this movie a lot earlier than a lot of other people, and it's about evil clowns. What a coincidence. 31. Director Rob Zombie. Let's talk about him for two little seconds. If you like his movies, then you're going to love this movie. If you're not a fan of his movies, you're not going to like this movie at all. So basically this movie is about a bunch of evil psychopath clowns in this little area and out in the middle of nowhere who lure people in with signs, all this kind of crap. And they go to like a road close, whatever, and they attack these people, put them in their competition called 31. And then these group of people who are all high stoner douchebags all in this RV they get taken by these clowns to this arena place and it's called 31 and Francis or is it Malcolm McDowell he's this really guy who wears his makeup and hat whatever and there's all these other people and they're all rich or whatever like all you have to do is survive all these little rounds of clowns and our evil henchmen and so these people have to survive it's kind of like horror games but really really gruesome and rated R and it's Rob Zombie so there you go so first things first, um, my favorite Rob Zombie movie has got to be Devil Rejects. I think that one has actual acting and clat and like like actual characters and a cool little story and really gruesome. This one, I would have to say it's right behind it. That one and this one is my favorite Rob Zombie movie now. I honestly walked in this movie, I was like, oh, I can't wait, I can't look at this is a lot other than other people. I'm like so excited. Walked in there saying, ah, oh, that's gonna suck though. I'm not really a huge fan of Rob Zombie, so let's just see. If it. And then I walked out saying, I wouldn't mind watching that again. Honestly, first things first, if you like torture porn, you're gonna, you're gonna go see this movie when it, whenever it comes out. I don't know when it comes out. But I gotta see it early, as I've said. And honestly, I enjoyed most of this movie. Yeah, you got the, you got the cliche Rob Zombie stuff. You got douchebags. You got these old people who are perverts. You have perverts in this movie. You have a lot of blood, a lot of gore, a lot of racism. And it's just, it all comes together. And it's a big Rob Zombie gore fest. And oh my gosh, some of the stuff you see in this movie, the clowns? The clowns are pretty creepy in this movie, I have to admit. They're pretty scary, I have to admit. But my biggest, biggest positive with this movie, if I had to say it, I don't know his name, but he's been in other stuff. I think he was in Batman, I'm not sure. But the main clown, the main one, the first one you see in the entire movie, he has a monologue in this movie, and it is awesome. He killed it. I don't know what's his name, but he killed it. He stole... The entire show. He was great, honestly. Like, I mean, he was good. He was a psychopath. And I got chills up my spine. Whoever the main clown guy is, if you've seen the trailers, then he's in the trailers. I was like, this guy looks good. But after seeing him, I'm like, man, this guy killed. He stole the show, hands down. Of course, Rob Zombie's the, the um, wife is the main girl and everything. Again, it's, it's if you like Rob Zombie, you're going to love this film. I think this movie is a fun, enjoyable time. It's definitely not the best film ever. It's definitely just torture porn. It's like Saw, pretty much. If you enjoy those movies, you're going to enjoy this movie. Again, I thought I, thought I enjoyed it. I liked it more than I thought it was, and I'm glad I got to see it early. So when it does come out in a theater near you, go see it. If you are in the mood for some scary torture porn with Rob Zombie and a lot of creepy imagery. And the directing was good too. I have to get Rob Zombie, he, was, he did a good job in this movie. So I'm going to give the movie a C. It seems like a low grade for the movie. But again, I enjoyed it more than I did. And I thought the main guy stole the show, man. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.